catch-22 situation as there seems to be no way out. But with our young people and families, we help them find that way so they can find themselves in a better situation. It's catch-22, helping young people out, and that's what we're here to do. Some of these children and young people haven't really been given a chance to actually have a life that some of us might have taken for granted. So simple things like coming out to the countryside, fishing, uh, being with the horses, even going to the other side of Leicester. Sometimes people haven't even gone to the other side of Leicester because they haven't even actually been out of the estate. When we bring them out to the countryside, even if it's bird day, horse riding, fishing or whatever it is, it's very peaceful, it's very quiet. It gets them away from the chaotic lives that some of them have, from some of the peer pressures that they also face if they're hanging about on the streets or in the local parks. It's something that's a little bit more therapeutic for them. It's a lot more calming and then you get to have those one-on-one -on -one conversations where they can open up to you and talk about issues. You can have some really amazing conversations and see a completely different side to the young people that you might not necessarily see. How many times have you ridden him now? Three times. Three times. Do you feel you're getting to know him a bit better now? Yeah. Yeah. What's he, what's his, what's he like then? Would you say his, his personality is what? He's nice and calm. Is he? And if you ask him to do things, does he, does he usually do them? Is he quite, yeah. quite responsive? Yeah. Push your body against a little bit. That's it. Push him a bit more. That's it. That's it. Good. I've learned to like get the mud out of the horse's foot and that. Like, like, Bits like on the horse, like his body language with his ears and that. And learn bits about horses. Uh, learn to trot. Learn to get, like, control the horse, like go left and right and that. No one one catches on. Can you feel it? It's like powerful. Yeah, but it's strong. Can you feel it pull? Cool? Yeah. After you've caught a fish, what do you do afterwards? Do you keep it or? No. I, I don't keep them, some people do, but I've caught fish both. So, what do you like about fishing? So it's the adrenaline really of catching a fish. One of our main aims really is to build confidence and self-esteem in young people and one of the ways in which we do that is identify what they have a passion for and then utilise that passion to bring other young people on board to enjoy that passion and that's what you see with our fishing. We had a young person who knew fishing inside out so he developed a, a fishing presentation for his Azdan award and hence we're here now and he's showing other young people about his fishing and that has really boosted his confidence and his self-esteem and has been really raring to go really in order to come and do his fishing. On a scale of uh, 1 to 10, how well would you say the project went? About a 9. A 9? So you find it enjoyable overall? Yeah. So how would you compare it um, to school, like being in a classroom environment or being in a smaller group environment with the, with the ASDAM project? In a smaller like, classroom because like, I can concentrate more and there's less people like messing about and more okay. stuff to help you.